Welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence, and today's video, we're going to go through the process of setting up an event campaign in Facebook. If you have an event on your Facebook page and you'd like to promote it through Facebook Ads Manager, this is how you're going to do that. First thing you need to do is set up an event on your Facebook page. That way you're able to select the event when you're creating the ad. If we go over to our Facebook Ads Manager and we click on the green Create button, we then need to select Engagement. This will give us a drop down list with options of what we'd like to promote. In this case, we're going to select Event Responses. We can then click Continue. Now what we need to do is give the campaign a name. My advice would be to name the campaign after the event. Next, you'll see the special ad category. Keep in mind to select this if your event falls into one of these specific sections. However, if you do not fall into those categories, you do not need to worry about that and you can move on. You can scroll past all of this as this is simply telling you your campaign details and if you'd like to do A-B testing. If you want to set your budget at campaign level, which I would recommend, you need to turn it on over here. You can then select a daily budget or you can select a lifetime budget. Facebook will automatically generate a budget for you. However, you can simply change that by clicking here. You can then go to your ad set level. Your ad set level is where you set your targeting and the time you want your ad to run. Keep in mind the audience definition meter on the side here. You want to remain in the green to reach the best audience. Give your ad set a name, something recognizable. You want to do this for reporting reasons and also to find the correct ad set to make sure you're targeting the correct audience. Next, you need to set your schedule. You can simply do this by selecting and I want them to end on the 1st of August. You can create your own audience over here. First thing you'll need to do is select the location type from the below. It's already selected the location. However, we can change that over here and we can simply type in who we want to target or you can drop a pin over here and you can drop it wherever you like. Another option is to exclude a specific location by selecting exclude. Next, you can select your age range, genders and detailed demographics about your audience. Here you can add demographics, interests or behaviors. You can also exclude or narrow the audience. Once you're happy with that, you then need to select your placements. Automatic placements is where Facebook takes complete control over where your ads are shown. If you select manual, a drop down falls where you can then select the different locations you want your ad to be shown. However, because this is an event campaign, we're only allowed to advertise on Facebook news feeds. So you can leave it on automatic if you want. Optimization and delivery. There's a drop down here, which you can choose. This is where you tell Facebook who to serve your ad to. If you want Facebook to show your ad to as many people as possible, select impressions. However, if you want Facebook to show your ad to people who they believe will respond to your event, leave it on that. Next, you can go to ad level and give your ad a name. Now you're going to create your ad. You can see this highlighted in orange is where you're going to put the event URL so that you can select your event. Now that I've put in the URL, it automatically generates the event and it automatically generates the ad preview on the side. I can then add in primary text. Next, we move on to tracking. If you're sending people to your website, you want to then select the pixel that you've got set up on your website. If you do not know how to set up a pixel, be sure to check out our other video on setting up a Facebook pixel. However, what you can do if you do have one is simply select web events and select the pixel. If you are happy with the way you have laid out your ad, be sure to go through your campaign settings, your ad set settings and your ad one more time and then click publish. Once you have done this, 
your ad will then be scheduled and it will start running on your start date. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you have something to say about the video, please comment below and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.